Welcome to class once again, scholars. So today we are going to draw to be drawing a, a part of a machine. And at first, right. So at first, we are going to draw a horizontal line and then measure a distance of about forty-four millimeter on the horizontal line. This is to give a base a center line for the base circle to be drawn. Base circle of and six centimeter in radius and also the distance of 40 millimeter apart from the last base center of the circle of radius 20 millimeter all right <clears throat> we then project a line upward just as it's being shown in the video all right so with that being done, we then take a distance or the height distance of 37 millimeter apart from the base just as it was being and shown in the diagram we have. This is to get this the center for the radius of the circle or for the, the center for the circle of the upper region all right so with that being done we then take a measurement of six millimeter on our meter rule and this is done so as to draw a radius a circle of radius six millimeter for the base region all right Alright, so measure a bigger radius of 12 millimeter for the same base point. Then thereafter we also measure a, a circle of radius 11 millimeter for the upper region and followed by followed by 20 uh, a bigger radius of 22 millimeter for the same upper region okay all right without being done we then make an external Saku uh, an external videos of 28 millimeter to that of the upper and the lower region of the circle we've made and for us to achieve that we had um 22 to 28 which is equivalent to 50 videos 50 so at the center point for the upper region we strike an arc of radius 50 millimeter then we employ same procedure for the lower region we had for the lower region we had the 12 millimeter to the initial 12 radius 12 millimeter to the external radius of 28 millimeter which is equivalent to 40 and uh, radius 40 millimeter thereafter we strike an arc from the center point of the initial radius circle of initial radius 12 millimeter to intersect that of the arc we made earlier on and we then measure uh 28 mil radius 28 millimeter on the metal rail and connect both the lower and the upper region together
please do ensure that and um, they are joined in such a way that they in they are interwoven so so that so that's how your full mark doing exercise and exercise exercise test and exam condition all right so make sure they are interwoven make sure they blend into each other they touch at the very precise point all right so what we're going to do next is to draw the um bigger radius a uh, bigger circle for the base region which is radius 20 millimeter okay Alright, so up next is to take our radius of 32 millimeter on our scale, on our metal rule, and it is drawn faintly at the same point we had, we already drawn, we had already drawn a 20 millimeter at the same center point we had, we have a radius 20 millimeter, circle of radius 20 millimeter. All right, this is done faintly because we don't know the exact boundary at which it covers. So, the next thing to do is that we draw a radius which is external to radius 32 millimeter and at the same time external to radius 22 millimeter. 32 millimeter for the lower region and 22 millimeter to the downward with uh, upward region and this is done by adding 32 the initial 32 with us 32 to that of 50 which makes it 82 and we then strike and hack for the lower region also we we add up uh, radius 22 the initial radius 22 millimeter plus that of 50 plus 50 making 72 for the upper region we then strike an arc to intersect the other arc all right we then measure our radius 50 millimeter and then we draw an arc intersecting and both the upper and the lower region. Just as I said earlier on, we must ensure it's interwoven so as for us to have a, a precise, perfect work here. Alright, the up next is to join a tangent to the bigger circle. 32 of radius circle radius 32 and the smaller circle radius 12 of the lower region and it is the tangent is joined in such a way that it's also interwoven to each of the circles each of these circles at the lower region all right so what we are going to do next is to is to taking out an um, some of the boundary because they all look construction uh, like construction outline they all look as construction outline so you may decide to just follow as I follow me on as I you know teach how it's meant to be
then lastly we are going to join a tower joint to both the circle of radius six millimeter at the at it at their upper region and also their lower region all right so and we are good to go since they both have same radius you would notice the tangent is drawn in such a way that it is at uh, 90 degrees to the vertical center line of each of the circles all right so we apply same principle for the upper region to I would employ you to, you know, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to the channel and if you can do well to like this video and do well to share and stay tuned by clicking on the notification bell for more content. Remember, the only way to overcome your fears is by facing them head on. I remain Emi, your tutor, here at Emi Consult. See you in the next class. Thanks.